we can create the web form and in the PDF where user can put their information and they can sign that form and then after that we can get the information so if you see that I have created a uh, PDF file this is a PDF page and where it's a editable PDF field. basically it have a field where you can put the information and then we can save that so this is editable uh, PDF field and you can see you can select that uh, any of these so this is editable field and using that Acrobat uh, Adobe Acrobat we are going to create a form and using the form user can put their information there and then we can get that information in our any of this application so let's do that so very first thing you have to go to this visit and create an account in adobe.com basically the purpose of this creating of this document is that PDF document is that get a customer signature so get a customer digital signature that is the purpose of this creating of this uh, uh, editable field editable and then all those stuff basically what we can do we can um, create a normal form even sign up form where people can put that all this information instead of that what we need actually we need that um, the user uh, customized signature uh, the digital signature for that reason we are creating a form so first you need to go to this visit the adobe.com and here you need to create your account so at that moment I'm using the trial account after that you have to click this sign and here you can see that Adobe Acrobat sign option once you click that it will ask for the login if you don't have any account you can create that at the moment I have the account I'm just logging that so I'm just logging or trying to log in that so the purpose again the purpose of this that I'm get the user digital signature and that is for the official work purpose not only for the sign purpose so it's a digital uh, we need actually a digital signature so once you log in that uh, we have this Adobe Acrobat signature and this is the uh, page uh, you can see Acrobat sign page so once you click manage under this manage you will be able to see that these are the I was trying to a different purpose so you can go to the web form and here you can create your own web form so just click the create web form once you click that web form it will ask for the recipient uh, do you want to uh, put any recipient name at that moment so I am not putting any recipient name at that moment uh, what I'll do I'll put the uh, web form name so let's say that um, and then here I need to drag or add the file so I'm going to add the file so you can see my file is added and here we have a preview and add signature field so this option is available we'll click the next once we click that next we'll be able to find out what all editable field is there and where we want to add the signature field and you can see these all are marks are detection or uh, telling that these are the fields which I had um, user input field and here we can uh, you know uh, add the signature field so simply you can drag the signature field here and then uh, this is if you see it's a star so it means that it is a required and uh, we can mark this is also a a required field just check this required field and it will be, once you click ok this have a star mark so user has to have put this information um, before we make any changes before they submit that so this form is right now safe we'll just save that submit this form once we submit that form you can see uh, this is kind of uh, form got generated and as I'm using the demo account, so it's uh, showing the demo user only. And after submitting that, I'll get a C URL. So this is my basically URL. And here I'll copy this URL. And this URL, uh, if we open the incognito, you can see um, I have a name field, and these are the uh, field where I I can put all this information and I can sign the signature or type the signature or draw the signature and I can uh, complete do the complete signature stuff so let's say I'm just putting this information and then I'm putting the signature here let's say any kind of signature I'm putting I'm putting my name also bottom and apply so you can see the signature got uh, applied and bottom I have actually option for click to sign I'll click that 
and then uh, please enter your email address to sign the document so i need to put the email address because i have not logged in that and then here i'll click that so you can see after that i have received a mail so so it is just for confirmation that that is the correct email address or not so i received a mail and you can see that i have received a mail from adobe signing so once i click the confirm uh, my email so it is my e sign is successfully done uh, so it will send to this um, actual draft now go back to this our actual page and if i go to that manage right now and if you see the completed at that moment and you can see i have received a comp uh, user sign up detail so whatever the user put all this information uh, i can open this agreement and see all this information so my signature name uh, email address mobile number everything is there and even this timestamp so this is how we can uh, get actually uh, user uh, signature using that Adobe Acrobat sign.